This program is called uh, Video Cut, but it doesn't actually cut the videos. All it does is it makes screenshot galleries or uh, thumbnail galleries. Um, it'll look something like this when you're done. Okay, something like this. You have all your your frames that you uh, and your timestamp and everything like that. And that is what you get the end result. Now they use this online for um, posting movies and stuff like that to see how the quality is like. And uh, in Windows they have like what's it called Image Grabber 2. Uh, the GTK version was a G frame catcher, and this one is the QT version, so it's more like the KDE side. Uh, the reason I use this is because um, the the ones my uh, G frame catcher wasn't working on some files, so this is my backup, okay. And it has the same features, but I think it, it has is like uh, more powerful, I guess, because it can detect uh, even the worst uh, shitty movie. <laughs> uh, so it's it's the same shit. You have the same options usually. You know, you you just tell it how many frames you want, uh, rows, columns, and stuff like that. And the format here, you can tell it to have a uh, JPEG, PNG, and stuff. Uh, fonts and information of the the files, and colors, foreground, backgrounds. Uh, you know all that shit. Uh, but basically, the, the how you use this is just open it, uh, select a file, a movie file, okay. Open. It's gonna scan it. It's gonna pull some uh, frames down here. Since we told it to do 30 frames, it's gonna do exactly 30 frames. It does not matter the length, okay. And you get a preview of how it'll look like at the end. Now this is the the frame, and this is the preview of the whole thing. And they do have some options here, but it's the same thing as in there, but it's more lighter. Okay. Uh, and then you probably want to save it. Now this one is to save a single file. This is for multiple files, so we're gonna save it as a single file. And uh, we put it in the desktop here. And that's it. Save. Save that sucker. And here we go. We have our file here. See that? Let's put this as normal. And there we go. We have our shits. Alright. And um, <clears throat> even though it's a QT app or a, I guess KDE app, whatever, the dependencies uh, wasn't that much. It was like like one megabyte or something like that. So I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just uh, that we have all the shits on the GNOME already. Um, so that's it. It's, uh, it's a good program. I use it as my backup if uh, some files not working on my uh, G frame catcher. But basically, it's the same job. And if you're on KDE, this probably fits more with the KDE side. Uh, so that is that video cut. Okay.